Good evening, everyone. Now, I know what you're thinking. John, these tickets cost more than my yacht. This better be good. <laughs> I also want to take the opportunity to make a special announcement. I've got something new in production. I can't say too much yet, but I can safely say that you've never seen anything like it. For tonight, though, let's move on to the main event. This is not part of the show. Everybody run. John Juniper here. Oh, I'm so glad you called. Yes, I do have information on the attack, but is it safe for me to tell you over the phone? No, I can't. I left for Europe this morning. How about this? I've got an autonomous jet at JFK. If you send someone to the airport, they can come meet me. Please make yourself comfortable. Why don't you order something to eat? This is my personal aircraft, and I like to keep it well stocked. Oh, yes, please, enjoy. I picked up a new box of these just for you. I can't believe this. My flight staff forgot to shut off the security system. I am so sorry. I'll need to have a word with them. See? Look at you. You didn't need my help anyway. Only the best chefs in the world can prepare that dish safely. Lucky for you, I employ the best chefs. <laughs> Why'd you put it on? No, it's fine. Just take it off. That's my personal property, Agent. It's of no use to you, I promise. Oh, you found the emergency supplies. Ah, uh, safety first. In all seriousness, that's sensitive equipment. Go close that back up. <laughs> all right, that's enough now. Don't touch those flight controls. How on earth did you... <sighs> okay, Agent. I'm gonna need you to stop touching things. Just let the plane do its job. What? How did... <sighs> Sorry, Agent. This plan's been years in the making. I am not letting you off this plane. Plan B. Launch the missile. Come on, Agent. You're trapped on a plane above the Atlantic Ocean. There's nowhere to run. Just die already. You blew up the missile? There's only one agent who could have pulled that off, and they died on the death engine. Unless... Get, get Zor on the phone. I believe a pesky phoenix has risen from the ashes. Right. When you're done, send the mask to New York. I'm looking forward to using it in the field. Hey, you. Tell Gibson to send that bottle I've been saving to the ballroom. And tell him not to forget the glasses. Excellent. Oh, almost forgot. Hey, Gibson, send up the new mimic mask. Perfect. Someone, get these sprinklers turned off. The agency must be here for the briefcase. Security team, with me. We can't let the agents find the briefcase. They can't have the briefcase! Wait, change your plan. Everyone who's still standing, cover me. I've got an idea. Gibson, I'm sending you the nuclear briefcase. Keep your head down and find a way out. I can act my way out of this, but whatever you do, do not let the Phoenix get their hands on it. It's all very clever, Agent, but your little game ends here. That's an order. What? How did... The map? The agent's right there! Are, are you wearing one of my masks? You! Shoot the agent now! Fine. Grenades it is. Toss the grenade, then you shut the hatch! Honestly, how did any of you survive hostility training? It's nothing personal. Be quiet! How dare you, you insufferable two-bit weasel! Oh, don't get any ideas. You're not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, you and I are gonna have a little chat. Agent, up here. Remember this? We need to get that briefcase to agency headquarters. Not a bad impression of your handler, eh? I didn't win all those awards for nothing. Hey, you know what? I've never gotten to do a classic villain monologue before. <laughs> and what do I have here but a captive audience? <laughs> Dr. Zor promised me the role of a lifetime. Zoraxis needed the world's greatest actor. So I delivered. Who but John Juniper could have impersonated every head of state, fooling the whole world into thinking they'd join Zoraxis. Hollywood just can't compete. I've never had a bigger spotlight. And then there's you. 
Agent Phoenix back from the dead. An extra trying to upstage the star. <laughs> oh, your performance back in the wine cellar almost had me fooled. Almost. Don't worry, though. I've got all the nuclear codes right here. So it's time for my final scene. Zoraxis defense. The peace summit. The big reveal. <laughs> oh, cheer up. We're not going to destroy the world or anything. We're just going to set off a few nukes to make sure they know who's in charge now. Sadly, that makes this your final scene, too. If it were up to me, I'd just shoot you. But... Zor was insistent on getting some footage of the Phoenix. Don't ask me why. If things had gone according to plan, you'd have been dead before you were halfway across the Atlantic. Well, fine, I've got the kidnapping thing down, we've got this set for the heads of state, and I do have a knack for direction. I don't expect you to understand. I expect you to... Well, <laughs> frankly, I expect you to find a way out. But you'll be too late. Wow, you just sat there and listened to the whole thing. I honestly didn't think that would happen. In any case, I'm on a bit of a tight schedule right now. Peace Summit starts in a couple hours, and I'm not going to miss my cue. Zor's just going to have to work with what we've got. Lights! Camera! And... Action! Motion detected. Couldn't resist. Fortunately for you, I'm afraid that this isn't a Peace Summit. And I'm not the premiere. Courtesy of yours truly, the world's greatest actor. The world's governments are, as of this moment, under new management. Ha! You look like you don't believe me. Now let me make it easier for you. Your previous heads of state have very generously handed over their nuclear codes. So I'm going to launch a couple nukes, just to show you we're serious. What? Sorry, folks. I need to deal with some technical difficulties. Wait, 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 Agent. Let's not be too hasty. You don't want me, you want Zor. I can tell you who Dr. Zor is. Ha! What are you gonna do about it? There's nobody left in this building to stop me. I'm still running the show. What? Wait, Doctor, I... Ah! 